Zendesk tutorial for customer service, how to use Zendesk. Hi guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zendesk for customer service. I'll show you all of the features and tools that you need to know to make an informed decision if Zendesk is the platform for you or not. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys have to do is you will go to Zendesk.com and you will land right here. Zendesk makes customer service better. It helps you track your progress it will allow you to customize your customer experience in order to get started with zendesk you will have to sign up click on the free trial or you can click on buy now then you have to register with your work email enter your first name last name and phone number company name number of employees and select language click on complete sign up and it will take you to your dashboard so this is the dashboard for zendesk and i'll show you how to use it so on Zendesk, at this side of the screen, you'll be able to see Home, which is also the Get Started. Then we have Views, Customers, Organizations, Reporting, and Admin. So here we have Get Started and Dashboard. In our dashboard, we will be able to see an overview of our open tickets, ticket stats, and more. Here we have an Add option, which is Quick Add. It will allow you to add a ticket, user, organization, or you can also search. So let's get started. First of all, I will go to the customer section and here I can add a new customer. In order to do that, we will click on add customer, enter the name and email, click on add and a new customer will be added. In order to save time, we can also import our list from other platforms. Once the customer is added, now we will be able to create tickets. Then we have related security settings and more. So in order to create a new ticket for a customer, you can open up the customer and then you have to click on new ticket. And this is how we create a ticket within Zendesk. So we have a requester, which is going to be Ben Keith, a person that I just added. Then we have assignee. In assignee, I'm going to go for support and we can also add different people. So for now, I'm going to add it to myself. Then we have followers. So if you have any agents, then you're going to add them right here. Then we have tags, type. In type, it is going to be a problem that Ben is facing. Then we have priority. In priority, it's going to be high. Moving on, we have a subject. So the problem Ben is having is that he cannot sign up. So I'm going to give it a name. Signing up issue. Then we have to enter a public reply or we can add it to Ben. So here I'm going to go ahead and enter our reply. So let's say this is the reply that I want to add. I'm going to click on submit as new and a new ticket will be created. So now we have a ticket right here. You can see it says ticket has been created. Now I can create as many tickets as I like. We have this add option right here, which is going to be a quick add option again. And you can click on it and then select a requester as well. So this is an easy way to create a ticket within a customer that we have already created or you can go to new ticket and then select a customer so it's actually really easy so here we are in our customers and you can see we have two customers now i can click on the actions and i'll be able to bulk import or bulk delete then again we have add customers and it'll show you your customer uh, list right here we have our tags time zone and last updated now we have organizations. Let's say that I'm working with different organizations and companies. So in order to create a new organization, again, we have an option at this side of the screen, which is add organization. Click on add organization and you have to enter the name. So this is the organization and then I will enter their domain name. Click on add and a new organization will be created. And now similarly, we can create tickets for the organization and then we can add different users into an organization so you can add five or four users into an organization that you have created and at the top of the screen you will be able to easily switch between the tickets customers and organizations it's just like the tabs we have on google so you can see we have cd inc right here we have tickets users click on tickets click on add and you will be able to create one then we have users and related Moving on, we have our reporting. So in reporting, I'll be able to actually get the report of my different activities that we are doing on Zendesk. 
It also gives us the analytics for our business and we will be able to improve and measure the entire customer experience. We can also click on talk live and this is where the live chatting happens. So here we'll be able to get the analytics for total calls in queue, callbacks in queue, widget callbacks in queue, agents online, average wait time, longest wait time. So here we'll be able to actually keep track of everything and we'll have a better idea if you are a manager or if you are um, you have a team you have a business and you want to keep track of your customer service then this is actually a really good platform you'll get all the analytics right here then we also have our admin settings now this is for you if you're using um, zendesk as a admin and we can also add different team members of course different agents into it and assign them different roles so here we have people Click on people and you'll be able to actually add your different agents uh, to your team. Then we have our account where we, I'll be able to see the billing, security, audit log and more. Here we have our channels, apps and integrations. We'll be able to add different apps and integrations into our Zendesk. This is actually pretty impressive. Uh, so this way I'll be able to add apps like zapier then we have google calendar uh, we have hubspot any other platform that you're using you will be able to integrate so we also have our workspace available where i'll be able to see my agent workspace right here and agent tools so you can add agents to your zendesk and then you can uh, of course check out their workspaces as well let's get back to our home here we have another thing which is known as views so in views, we actually get all of our different tickets. We have our unsolved tickets. We have unassigned tickets, recently updated tickets. We have pending tickets, suspended and deleted. Uh, you can also go to the manage views from this option right here. We have our filter and we can also perform different bulk actions from here. Export a CSV, edit view or clone a view as well. So this is actually giving me uh, the view for unsolved tickets. These are the tickets that I just created and it's showing me that this ticket has not been uh, solved yet. So I can select it and now I can actually edit it. I can merge it, mark it as a spam or delete. Uh, so this is how it works. We can update the status of a ticket really easily. Uh, so this is how you go ahead and create a user organization and then create a ticket within your Zendesk. You can also get the analytics. We have our views available and we have our admin settings right here. It's an all-in-one platform for our customer service and it will help us improve our customer service and run a successful business online. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question